an indigenous man raises a critical issue, highlighting Justin Trudeau's persistent failure to provide clean drinking water in numerous indigenous communities across Canada. He laments the agonizingly slow progress and questions why such an appalling situation is tolerated in a wealthy, developed country. I know adults who have never been able to pour themselves a glass of water from the tap in their own home. Here in Calgary and in my home in Prince Albert and in many non-Indigenous communities in Canada, really, um, having clean water in every kitchen and bathroom is considered necessary. In very many Indigenous communities, for very many of my friends and family, it's nothing short of a luxury. My question to you is this, why is this okay? In this beautiful, wealthy, developed, free country, why is it okay for my people to go without water? And I know that work is being done, but I also know that it's being done at the speed of molasses. It's not considered an emergency, not like the water main break in here in Calgary. Tansay, thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, like I said, it's not acceptable. Uh, and it, it, that is why we made the commitment to end the boil water advisories and why we have ended so many of them and why we are going to be ending all of them. Uh, it, is, it is an issue that has many different uh, aspects to it. Uh, that we're dealing with entirely. You can't just plonk down a new water treatment plant. It involves uh, training up people so the local community can actually continue to run it. It means uh, ongoing investments. It means uh, a sustainable long-term future. And these are the investments we're making to lift boil water advisories and keep them lifted uh, for decades to come. Uh, it's not going as fast as anyone would like, but it is unacceptable. And I thank you for bringing that forward. This plea underscores the dire need for governmental responsibility and efficiency. The deep frustration among Indigenous people over the sluggish pace of development highlights glaring bureaucratic inefficiencies and the urgent necessity for more effective governance. The man's question underscores a widespread perception that the government is incapable of prioritizing and swiftly addressing crucial issues affecting Indigenous communities, pointing to a pressing need for more decisive action and streamlined procedures. Equal treatment and the fair distribution of resources are paramount. The stark contrast between the clean water readily available in non-Indigenous communities and the severe water shortages in Indigenous communities is a profound concern for equity and justice. This imbalance demands a thorough reevaluation of resource allocation and calls for policies. Ensuring all citizens, irrespective of their community, have access to essential services like clean water. The conversation between Indigenous people and Justin Trudeau underscores the urgent need for transparency and efficiency in the government's handling of significant issues and represents a powerful public demand for accountability and tangible improvements.